some some, some sort of or, or, so, order. So but, sorry, so order, so order, so order, so order. Okay. I have a grant for a set. Great Bend Co-op upgraded. They're going to make it full ground flush, so it's not a problem for the world. Shouldn't be any issues there. What kind of line is it? It's not a It's not a more than a mile or so. But it's ground flush, so it's. They're probably required to do that. Oh, uh, yeah, KDH is going to be a problem to get it done. So. It seems to be. Just the one. Right now. I suppose a monitor and you know, kind of like just one out the landfill after it starts moving. Yeah, they, 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 they may start moving, you know, you may have well, to throw them more. Putting it where I think they are, it's kind of a, a bad spot, anyways. It'd be up there on the it's west a side. Spot. Yeah. <laughs> In the bottom of the ditch. Yeah, so it's yeah, <laughs> the main design for our side of the yeah. And that's the one thing I really worried about. We did, they did some of the uh, come around cuts and they were actually the top of the monitor mm -hmm. as well, but they set those right back on the on the edge of the right of way, which okay. And as for well, this state. will be right in the middle of the right away then? I don't know exactly for sure when they get ready to set it up. They, they were going to try to set it back, well, so, so it wasn't an issue. And then they were going to set it around flush. So you don't have any problems mowing around it or okay. poke you over deep through there? So this is County Permit 012014? Yes. I make a motion to be without the utility permit or accept the utility permit application. Something that could have a motion. What was that number? Uh, 01 2014. 01 2014 for utility permit for a monitoring well. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. You see the pile. Yeah. I mean, but I mean, that's how you. That's why our roads are. Right. If if we did, if we couldn't patch all your lawn, I don't know if our roads would be in the shape that they're on. And, and building guys do a job. Yeah. That, so. I mean, it's it's a very boring to use job. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>
southeast corner. Those signs along the bridge, you aren't leaving those there? No, we're going to. No, have you been out by Vernon's, yeah. west of Vernon's, the ones we lowered? No. Yeah. yeah okay, that's, that's we'll, we'll lower them just as low as we can. Okay. The ones out here by the same, the same one right out here by the rattlesnake, we'll mm -hmm. take them all the way down to the edge of the garden. Right? Uh, okay. I don't know if that's going to be low enough for. Oh, it should be. But, but, but I mean, it's going to help. Across them. And then all, <coughs> all the other ones, where we're just setting them, and we don't have to. The I told you yeah. guys we would we just go a foot. So they, at the most, they'll still have four foot like around the, Like at Vernon, it's in mm -hmm. that, uh, all around here, on the senior boxes around the curve. So, uh, sure, right down that road. No, no, no. Mm -hmm. <laughs> several calls. How are we supposed to get our... Oh, well, I, I knew that. Here. Hey. Yeah, they called you, but they never said anything. Then I told a couple of farmers. I told them I said, so relax still. Yeah, I said, yeah, I understand it's going to be a problem. Well, some of the stuff too big. Of course, sometimes you guys need to take off. Okay? Well, There's no way you can get down that yeah. down the Right. And be traffic. <laughs> Especially right through there. There's, yeah. there's no, no place way. to go. Yeah. Is there any activity on the cell tower up on 19th or something? I don't see any. I talked to city people that were right up there and they said they haven't seen anything. Hmm. It usually it doesn't. For the spring thaw. That could be. <laughs> I know, I would think we'd probably end up getting some sort of permit. We usually got to raise some telephone lines to this, so I imagine that we'll have to. Most of that may fall on fire. I bet there is a fiber line that runs down that road on that on the west side. I'm pretty sure that uh, in Park we brought a few years ago. Mm -hmm. So we're in that we took out some trees in the last stage on the bridge of West of Jeff and the draw it fills up for this. Drift, as they call it. Yeah, I should have been one of those trees all that. <clears throat> yeah, the bulk told me they had those to so take out. And I asked him about the ones right there over, along our road on the east side. And I said, well, they're enough of a nuisance to us that if he does take them out, we'll go ahead and use it. Because I And most of them are a lot better. Most of them are a lot better. Mm -hmm. Other than that, that's... I don't know. Too much to put in the house. Well, thank you. Thank you. I am dismissed. You can be one of them. You can stay if you want to. Yeah. You're welcome to stay. I'm welcome to stay. <laughs> Am I going to learn anything? You don't know. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's very true. <laughs> <laughs> Have a good day. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. um, I have a little thing. Just wanted to tell you that I think our office is doing well handling the IRP and the C and the, um, we're doing appointments. And we're booked out three weeks. Wow. Well, okay. So. It's kind of a good one for that. The end of February. Yeah, this. Yeah. yeah, you need to come in. Yeah. Make an appointment made. Make me an appointment. <laughs> <laughs> but um, it's a lot of in, influx from Reno County because they're not done the interest thing. And, uh, so, I mean, those are potentially customers we probably won't have next year because I think they're going to, yeah. yeah, they're going to open it up. So, my IRP customers are my first priority since we do those every year. Mm -hmm. So, uh, but I'm still taking um, calls from Reno County until 
I'm keeping things open until February 14th, and then I think that last two weeks, I need to stay focused to my IRP customers and then my local people, because that's when all the farmers will be coming in to get there. They've got to do that too. Yeah, that's what's so hard is yeah. we're at Ag County and we get all of our local people right then yeah. at that time. So that's why we're trying to do the appointments. We even, uh, reached out and made a few phone calls to try to get people to come in earlier. Mm -hmm. The people that we've regularly waited on the last few years. What did the local guys have to do besides keep their claims in that they didn't have to, if you're, have to do? If you're commercial, intrastate, okay. stay within the state of Kansas, you'll get a new tag. Yeah. you got to have a DOT number. and. And it's a lot of input. It's like we're doing title work for each mm -hmm. one this first time. And you guys set up the customer and the system and then enter all the vehicles. So it's just real time consuming this first year. So do you need anything different what's on the renewal? No, we need to know the color of the vehicle and uh, what unit number you want it to okay. be. Okay. And then we need your DOT number. We need proof your property taxes are paid and we need your insurance. So we can look Yeah, you document all that. Yeah. So, and your DOT needs to be updated. That's what we're running into. People's had DOTs and they're not. We can't do it until it's current. So it's a big learning curve for a lot of people. And we've had several people that have been running local tags, but they really should be IRP because they're going across state lines. So we've had several new accounts on IRP. So, been, phone's been ringing off the wall. People can't get through to our office. Um, I'll call and say, I tried all day yesterday to get through. We're taking phone calls as fast as we can, but the phone has been ringing off the wall. So this DOT, is that vehicle inspection, or what is that? It's federal yeah. DOT, you have to report your vehicles, I guess. I really don't know, it's federal. Well, it's, you follow a whole different guidelines of For your drug safety. testing yeah. and safety and record keeping. And, you know, it's, we just it's check that your DOT is current when you come right. in, and, and but I don't know what all that involves. Safety audits. And Oh, yeah. on safety audits. Mm -hmm. And that's probably why, because it's come down to liability yeah. of safety issues for companies mm -hmm. that weren't properly registered. You have to go take your truck somewhere yeah. every, every year. That's be annually inspected. Which that ain't a, to me. That's I think they should do that. If you have a heavy truck, whether you're a farm or not, I think that should be. It's not a bad deal. It's not yeah. because there's some trucks out there that shouldn't be running up and down the roads. They're not very safe. Yeah, wait till this yeah. is put on farmers. Yeah. That's is what that I mean. Sometimes when there's concrete blocks in a rope and they throw them out. <laughs> Sometimes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so where do, you, where do you go to inspect? Have them inspect? Oh, there's uh, mechanics around that are DOT okay. certified to inspect the spec trucks. And you have to do that yearly? Yep. Yeah. Truck and trailer. And they have to have a sticker and an inspection sheet with them in your file. And you put that sticker on your trailer also? Yep. Mm -hmm. We do. Right down to mm -hmm. We do. Well, and there's a guy from Radium that'll come to your shop and check them out too. We just had a call a customer from Hutchison. They had two hundred vehicles they wanted us to do. So I, I asked the girls, can we handle that? And they said, if we designate one person, we could probably two or three days. Two or three days, um, wow. But all those people can so it's just so time consuming. And uh, so she's going to try to get it all together and fax it to us so we can kind of just put it on the yeah. side. I mean, I don't have a lot of trucks, but I mean, it takes quite a bit. So. Yeah, it's caused quite an uproar. A lot of people are frustrated. A lot of people don't understand, and we're not that helpful either because we're learning it too. Mm -hmm. And um, and I don't want to tell people how they need to be tagged because I don't want them to get pulled over and say, "Well, 
Lisa at Stafford County Treasurer's Office said I was yeah. what I needed. So. It used to be simple because guys like me that were going to stay just in the state could run county plates. Mm -hmm. Now it can. Right. So you got to change all them plates on the trucks and trailers. And yeah. But I don't have anything that like it that far. <laughs> Actually, you do. Your old tandem truck would cost 500 pound heavyweight. What is it? 54,000. That's it. For commercial, mm -hmm. it's any vehicle. Oh. 12,000 regular. Oh. So they've changed even the way. Yeah. If the vehicle and its contents is not over 10,000 pounds, then you can stay registered local. Wow. And that's trailers too. There's not very many people that are just. Yeah. So, <laughs> and this DOT stuff. It's all tools of the trade. I've, I've learned all the student <laughs> terminology. And, and Everybody trying to bend their blister. It depends. Are you carrying? If you go across state <laughs> lines, are you carrying the product? What's it for? Um, well, maybe you can get a trip from it. Mm -hmm. I mean, and see, this is all stuff we don't know. And so we just say, you know what? You better do your homework and figure out what you need. And tell yeah. Because I told the girls, if you got a dog, you would go across state line. If you got a dog and a cat, you can't. I mean, it's just, <laughs> it's really It's a trick. Yeah. And we don't understand it because we're learning too. So. What's a good website to look at all that stuff? Truckingks.org. <laughs> and that's what I've told people. That is your resource center. And you it will be very helpful to you if you get very familiar with that site. You can go update your UCR there, your DOT. Um, you can do things online, even there for IRP and commercial once you're set up. Like next year, you can just do it all online in front of your office. They're giving people that ability. And then you just send your invoice and your check to, and your supporting paperwork to the office. I think eventually it will get, you know, if we get people to doing things online, it'll be very helpful. Mm -hmm. so, I think that's what they're trying to do. When do you think they'll change it to where the farmers have to comply with that? I don't know. Mm -hmm. I had a patrolman in my office the other day, and he said, just wait until farmers have to do yeah. this. And he said, it's coming, probably. So I don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought you heard some squealing. There was on this deal when they first put this DOT paperwork compliance stuff in, in works, but I tell you what, if you didn't have it, you're shut down. Well, that's what we're finding too. So many people have been running with that DOT numbers that should have been. Nothing's changed since 2000. Right. That's what a memo came out. DOT regulations have not changed since year 2000. It's just people that work in compliance. Yeah. yeah. So people just didn't have it. And it's an education thing too. I think right. people sincerely probably didn't realize they needed yeah. some of this. Okay. Thank you. Uh -huh. Thanks. Do you really want me to make you an appointment? Yeah, if you would. No, I'll stand by. How many vehicles? Oh, at least I don't have a clue. I'm going to say probably 12. And how many trailers? Uh, probably 12, 13, 14. It depends how many, how much time. Okay. Okay. okay.
I'm sure he knew better. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Have you all had a chance to read the policy? No. Okay. guidelines and you read what unauthorized uses are for and just tell your department heads we're going to enforce that. We want you to enforce that. I don't know what more we can do. Yeah. Enforce it or we'll keep it. Even at work. Well, If they, t if, I mean, when they take them home, you don't know what they're using them for, anyways. So I don't know how you're going to enforce I don't know. enforce it when you know. <laughs> if you don't let them take it home and you have a snowstorm, they're going to complain. Well, I didn't get the call. Yeah. Well, but that's take it that's home being on call. That's their response. That's employees' responsibility to do that. Responsibility and they knew that 10 years ago and they didn't have to have everybody had the cell phones. What other departments have cell phones that they take home with them? Employees who take home with cell phones? Mm, of course, you share them. Well, that's yeah, different. that's different. Um, but Brian's in the part of it. Doors. Doors has one. But she has to have it for that. For the refrigerator. Well, the corner stuff. So, yeah. Um, oh, what does it have? Mm -hmm. EMS has cell phones. I'm assuming Misty takes one home. Um, the others are for the ambulances, I think. Doesn't have one. Bader has one, which that's how we get a hold of him when we need him. Is it in his personal or the, his employee contract that he has to have a way to get got a hold of? Like this is employees? when he's here in the building. Oh, in the building. Because we we have no intercom or right or pager. Right. Is he then take it home with him or? You have a leave or something. Yeah, because if on the leave, really it's have one. Well, I know, but it, I when mean, I get to, to me, I that call. him being on call is no different than a, than a road bridge guy being on call if we have a snowstorm. And if it's in his, if it's in his employee description, too, he must have a way to be for us to get a hold of him in case of emergency. That's his. That's not our responsibility. His is mostly used for here, but he does take it home because. Like I say, stuff happens on the weekends. I don't want to come up here with when this stuff. When this all started, <coughs> before, you know, just a flat fee for the use of the mm -hmm. cell phone, there was, as you know, in the beginning, there was this and this, when you got a call, you know, charged for this. Um, the only thing I see from this is that if they're using it for personal use when they're not at work, it shouldn't be done. And so how do you enforce it? Uh, you can't leave it. You know, when I, when I leave, when I check out, I leave the cell phone because 
there is a possibility of being caught. Since we're on, all these phones are on a flat feet anyway, um, it just, it's, it's the, the ethical portion. This is a county phone, it's for county business. But we use it at But I don't use it at home. We just need to send a memo out to all of them. And especially the department heads, they ought to even have a meeting if they have people underneath them just to, just to tell them that. Now whether we can put any teeth into it if they don't follow that, they have to deal with that later. But I mean, that's the first step. Just to let them know. Because I think the policy, I, at least that first page of it, I, it's pretty well written. I like just reading black and white. I mean, what, So you want is it awesome? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's so thing on, this, on, the, on the reimbursement that's an IRS ruling and uh, you know I'd hate to get to the point where you know, you're going to start monitoring everyone's phone and see what time it's being used and where and so on and so forth. I think that's hours only. Them guys outside of the county shop, in my opinion, shouldn't take them home. Because when they were hired, they knew they, it was their responsibility to have a way to be got a hold of in case of an emergency. It is not the county's responsibility to sp supply them with a cell phone that can be reached in case of that emergency. <clears throat> I think that is the whole point when the employee came up to see us was that's what he's unhappy about because it's not fair to the rest of the employees that have to be reached the same way. You could include that in the memo that if, uh, by following the policy or if we see the policy is being followed, that will be might be the, the next step. step. So, 
next week or the following week, sometime in the very near future. Are they going to call or? Well, I will call them and tell them, and then they in turn will call them and say whether they can make it or not. So if you want. Next week I have an 8.30 schedule for you is all I have. So next week is fine. Okay. Anytime after 8.35. But it's, uh, it's pretty neat. I mean, you could you click on, you know, the town and then it lists all the amenities and you click on that and it goes over and says where they're located and what they're doing and so forth. So. Okay. Well, What do you think about this meeting? But there's four meetings. I'm not going to go to all four of them, but I would go to some of them. Oh, you just got one of those. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so, well, you got it in the mail. And it can. Uh, <laughs> no, I didn't. Oh. They thought they, you would get probably get yeah. one in the mail. So, are you on a board or we're on a board over there or yeah. something? This is for uh, somebody's address to commission. Uh, Stafford County. Well, commission. he thought they had mailed it. <laughs> Well, this is you buy a seat. Did you pop, did you get one? No, but I know that. Okay. And you buy a seat, and regardless who's, you know, you can do all four of them. Or well, I inferred that if we had a seat, one of the three of us could attend. That'd be fine. I'd be yeah. okay with that. Yeah. I'm not gonna so it costs dig us. myself in to be in there. <coughs> it would cost us forty dollars for yeah. one seat for one seat. Yeah. I'm sure it yeah, might, might be able to negotiate and get a price for two seats. But that's that was my I thought it looked like when we designed it just for us, probably. <laughs> <laughs> you guys need to know. I was a little surprised that the, I'm wondering what their attendance would be like on something like that. There's people for seat. boards for people that are on boards. A lot of those people aren't going to go to those kind of meetings. Yeah. Maybe design it for the city council. I don't know. <laughs> How to get along? I mean, but I yeah. Because um, you see, it says you know. Forty dollars for one seat, yeah. and all four, or one, two, three, or four. Can, you, know, you can pick and choose. And uh, I know there's the hospital board got one, school board got one, all the all the boards, all boards got one. And uh, it might be nice. Then there was some controversy since K State was putting it on, they did it in the town. <laughs> The KU fan. Oh, is that the dress code? Oh. <laughs> is that the uh, dress code? And you get extra points if you work. You get an extra, you know, extra cookie. Yeah, I think we should. I, I would uh, think we can uh, just pay $40 and we can have 10 as a thing. Do we need a motion on that or just no, consensus?
I wish you would come and explain this stuff to you guys because I have no clue. But anyway, I told him I'm giving it to you. Count placards. On trucks that go by after the intersection. 19 <laughs> counties are participating <coughs> in this. Highways. We have to participate <coughs> or they don't get their grant. And, uh, What's it cost? How much is the grant? I, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> the grant, I think, is on front, actually. The amount. Uh, so what's the hourly rate if someone is sitting out there counting placards? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Anything about it. Hmm? Uh, I don't know how much it is. I'll take a minute about that. Fifteen minutes. Two hours for a It's always that carrot, you know, if you don't do it, you won't get your brain to do it. Don't worry, it's not the expenditures I'm making faces at, it's some of these police reports. Yeah. I never did hear if there was injuries or anything. That there was no away. injuries? They walked away. Wow. Oh, what's that? No, it's next track at 15 uh, yeah. The guy driving <coughs> got hit by a truck and they both Jeep driver walked away. That thing was upside down. Yeah. Another 5281 wreck. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's last the, Wednesday. Right after the commissioner's meeting last week. It was too. I thought I called Clayton. Because I thought the timing of that when I yeah. got home my wife had just heard I thought, Clayton. Yeah. Did you see a wreck? I was hoping he answered the phone actually. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, it was a great pickup. Yeah. What? It was a great pickup. Yeah. But I figured that, I mean, that, that SUV, whatever it was, looked like a polar blazer. I didn't do that. <coughs> it was upside down in the north ditch facing east. That's it. And it was pretty well crumpled. Huh. Yeah. Special thing. No. I guess we don't. We don't need any other. motion to approve that or just consensus? Okay. We'll reset. It's the same guy that the vice person is. Bruce yeah. is all the Bruce's stuff. So, is that fine for you guys? Just 300 bucks, 300 bucks. What else can we do? Otherwise, we'll just store something. Yeah, right, right now, it's in the Marshall's yard. There's a yard owner, but he really don't want it there. So. That's it, yeah. True. Okay, and I, we may be able to recoup our costs off the. Uh, the brush card at time, they gave us a little bit back, so this is even this morning. We won't be in this room. So, Good. we want to run it by you to make sure it's okay. Yeah. All, right. Okay. All right, that's it. No Rob and Tom show. We're going to class. <laughs> <laughs> you guys have anything else? I don't know. I'll call. Try and set you said anything after 8 30 next Wednesday? It's 845. 8 45, 9. 9. 9. 9. I'll, I'll try to do that. Maybe here. Friday, if it's all good. That's at 11? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we'll adjourn.